Welcome back everyone. In this video, let's take a look at our first navigation related component, which is the nav bar. The nav bar is primarily used for branding and navigation. Let's learn how to create one with material UI. Let's begin by creating a new file in the components folder. MUI navbar.tsx. Within the file, I'm going to create a new component. To create a navbar, we need two components import, app bar, and toolbar from Material UI. Now there is no set design for navbar, but let's create a traditional navbar with a logo and some navigation links. For the logo, let's assume we are building a website about Pokemon. So I'm going to import the Pokemon icon from Material UI. Now for the JSX, first invoke the app bar component. By default, the position prop on this component is set to fixed. Let's set it to static. So position is equal to static. Within the app bar, we invoke the toolbar component. This component adds some padding on the left and right side of the nav bar. Within the toolbar, we're going to add an icon button as the logo. So import icon button and within the toolbar, invoke icon button with the catching Pokemon icon as the child. On this icon button, I'm also going to set size is equal to large, edge is equal to start, color is equal to inherit, and an area label for accessibility. Next to the logo, let's add the app name. We're going to use the typography component for this. Import it at the top. Typography. The text is going to be Pokemon app. We set variant prop is equal to h6. And component is equal to div. If we now include this component in app component, Comment out the body background color in app.css and the padding from app class. Save the file, head to the browser. You can see the navbar being displayed. There is padding on the left, which is from the toolbar, the icon button representing the logo and typography for the text. Now a navbar also typically contains navigation links like home, features, pricing, etc. Let's add those links on the right hand side of the navbar. First, we're going to allow the typography component to grow the remaining available space. So we add sx, pass in an object where we set flex grow to 1. Next, we're going to add a stack component with some spacing to accommodate the nav links. At the top, import stack and invoke the stack component with direction is equal to row and spacing is equal to two. Within the component, we add the various links as buttons. So import button at the top. And within the stack, invoke the button component. The first link is going to be features and we inherit the color. I'm going to duplicate this button three more times and change features to pricing about and login. 
Ideally, you would handle the click event on these buttons to navigate to different routes. However, we don't have routes in our application, so I'm not going to add the onClick prop. If you now save the file and head to the browser, you can see our navbar looks more like the ones you see on some of the web applications you see out there. We have features, pricing, about and login. Again, let me mention that a navbar does not have a strict design to follow. The content is completely up to you. But app bar and toolbar are the basic components you'll be needing. Alright, in the next video, let's learn how to create a menu with Material UI. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.